Good morning. It's the third day of May, and this is another edition of KH Devotionals. This is for singles, and our topic for today is questions that every single will be faced with, and this is the part six of it. Number seven question, question of respect. As singles, the moment issues of disrespect begin to rear its head in courtship, it deserves some attention because people rarely change after marriage. If he's asking you for premarital sex, he does not respect you or value you. If he does, he will wait. If she's the one asking for sex, and that happens in some cases, she does not value your relationship with God and she does not respect her own body. If she does, she will not offer her body knowing there are consequences. Why is that so? The scripture says sexual sin is different from all other sins. How? It is a sin unto God, like every other sin. But much more than that, it is a sin unto your body. The salient truth here is that if you truly respect your body or your partner's body, you will not be profane like Esau who traded his life, his lifelong destiny for a temporary pleasure. Hebrews 12, 16 says, Let the, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one muzzle of meat sold his birthright, that's the KJV version. A lot of young girls in their bid to, to secure love will go and spend weekends on another campus with their boyfriends. You see, when you do that, what do you expect when he's not a eunuch? Please don't do that. You are not yet married. Your dowry has not been offered. You will now go and be washing singlets and cooking for a guy that can leave you at the back of an eyelid. Remember, it was cooking that landed Tamar in a rape incident in 2 Samuel 13. Is he always complaining about your figure or legs? Is she always complaining about your face? Are there everyday comparisons with others? Those are attitudes that are symptomatic of disrespect and require some attention. If you are already accommodating direct and deliberate insults, not only at you but also at your parents, what are you still doing in that kind of relationship? If you are already enjoying or is it enduring some slaps and physical abuse, do you need a prophet to know you will be beaten all your life at the slightest publication? If you are already sending pictures of your naked body and private parts, don't you know the implication? If you are being asked for anal, don't you know that is utter disrespect and disregards your person and the God that created you? Meditation for the day, James 4 verse 12, the message version says, God is in charge of deciding human destiny. Who do you think you are to meddle in the destiny of others? Prayers for the day, number one. Lord, I ask for grace to reach my destiny in Jesus' name. Prayer number two, I will not be entwined with a destiny killer in Jesus' name. Prayer number three, I break free from every destiny killing relationship in Jesus' name. Amen. Confession for the day. I will apply discretion in every area of my relationship and marriage as God helps me. I receive the wisdom of God to advance my relationship. I will wait on God. I will wait for God. I will follow his leading. I will not make wrong decisions. In Jesus' name, amen. Action plan for the day. Pray that the Lord will give you a heart that will listen to his leading in the name of Jesus. Amen. Action plan for the day. Decide to love God's way. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international giving, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kcsanos.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlogs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Transit Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you.
Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.